we do want every child to succeed. So I'm here to help those of you in the audience who don't already know that education is a health issue. Education is one of the pillars of health outcomes, not just here in Alamance County, but everywhere. And so for some of you, that might be a different way of thinking about education. But in reality, health, wealth, and education are interlocked. And when we improve one of them, then we improve the other two. And in public health, we know that better education and higher educational attainment actually leads to better health outcomes, whether that's physical health, social, emotional, or financial. And in Alamance County, we so understood that, that in our last community health assessment, our three top priorities were access to care, poverty, and education. Education was one of our top health priorities here where you live, work, play, and learn. So when we talk about education, we're talking about the health of a community. We're talking about the health of a community for this generation and for every generation that comes after. So health is more than just the absence of illness and disease. It is heavily influenced by social factors, like our families, the places where we live, not just geographically, but the house that we live in, the services that we have to plug into, like hospitals and parks and schools. Healthy and thriving communities are those that have quality education, safe housing, employment opportunities, transportation and quality health care. Communities typically succeed in improving the well-being of the folks who live there when there is a concerted and a collective effort to improve those pillars. And collective is a key word. And as you'll see up here, collective impact, which is what we're aiming to do here, is the commitment of a group of important actors from different sectors, not just one, to a common agenda for solving a specific social problem.